Hey everybody, Jane Clapp, I'm the chair of the Nebraska Democratic Party. Hi Jane, I'm White Dog and I make videos on YouTube. I wonder if uh, you're going to show us some voter fraud soon. Hmm. We have these welcome baskets that we've been making, so I'm just going to kind of show you all the work that Democrats have done over the last about month and a half. Democrats here are using positive community outreach, which there's nothing wrong with that. They're putting together welcome baskets for refugees that happen to be in their area, and they're using two distribution services, distribution charities, to get these goods that they've collected out to these particular refugee families. One of them happens to be the Lutheran Family Service, and the other one is the Refugee Empowerment Center. So in Nebraska, they're bringing in a lot of refugees. Now, if we were to go over this a little bit deeper, why are refugees here in the United States? Well, there's no war in Canada and there's no war in Mexico, so we should really have no obligation to take these people whatsoever. So it's a simple mor morality play, but if you watch what this lady is about to do, you can understand why Democrats want more legals in this country and more refugees. This is just what Democrats do, right? We not only keep elected officials accountable and we run for office ourselves, but we also make sure that we're connecting to our community on the issues that deeply affect all of us. And we made sure that we had individuals write a little note to the families. And then inside each basket, there's also a letter from the Nebraska Democratic Party welcoming the family to Nebraska. Um, it's signed by me as chair of the party, and then we include a sticker in there for them to put on their car, um, and also includes a voter registration form, and just has our contact information in case they want to reach out and have any questions. That's right, voter registration forms in baskets that are supposed to be going to refugees. Refugees have to wait at least five years before they can even get a green card to then start the naturalization process. So why is it that they're sending out voter registration forms now? The Conservative Review reached out to her to figure out why exactly she was including voter registration forms going out to non-citizens. And she responded, it's not illegal to be handing out voter registration forms so folks start to get familiar with the forms. That's right. She wants a bunch of people who don't speak English to see a form and remember it something like five or six years later, which doesn't really make much sense. So it sounds like damage control for me. But then she goes on and says, I put in my business card in those letters and a bumper sticker for their cars just to make sure they knew that we as the Democratic Party welcome them. Also with a basket of free shit. So what they're saying here is, yeah, you know, if you want to get free shit from the government, the Democratic Party is the way to go. But more importantly, when it comes to the letter, when asked if the letter was signed by Chairwoman Klebe made clear that any non-citizen refugee who received the voter registration form would break the law by completing and submitting that form, Klebe replied, I can look at the letter, I'm not sure I said, you know, you have to fill out this form. Well, if she did, if she did include, you have to fill out this form, or please fill out this form, then that's straight up voter fraud. So I want to see this letter. So Jane, show us the letter. So is this an actual voter fraud felony in Nebraska? I have no idea. But you gotta, you gotta just revel in the audacity of this lady. I mean, first she goes in in this 22 minute long Facebook video to a seminar they're teaching about how to disrupt tra town halls of Republican congressmen. Then she goes outside and shows this letter, and then later on she shows our, her vagina hats <laughs> that people can buy and then put on their head to, what, become walking vaginas? Uh, and then of course the, the pink pussycat hats, which were, became famous at the Women's March. One of the organizers of that march is being deported because she lied on her U.S. citizenship application. Why? Well, because she's a convicted terrorist. Are you sure you want to be associating yourself with that? I mean, everything about this just screams. I'm completely out of touch with everything, with reality, with the law, and I put my ideology over that. 
Oh, and by the way, if you're a young person and uh, you care about, you know, Bernie Sanders and that voter fraud, well, nothing's changed at all. Nothing whatsoever. We have the audacity to show our Democrat outreach program in an attempt what it really appears to be a bribe to get new voters who are non-citizens. Welcome to Republican Dog Outreach Program. I have decided to send voter registration forms to communist Russia to get them to sign up as Republicans. However, it, the letters are in English and Russians speak Russian. So, it's okay. I am trying to teach them about American democracy.